Everything happening in our country today, from shortages of food to rolling blackouts projected in the summer, to skyrocketing inflation, food costs and gas prices and diesel shortages, all these things are by design. You don't want to miss this. These things were actually promised to us and 81 million people, allegedly, voted for them. Number one, no more subsidies for fossil fuel industry. No more drilling on federal lands. No more drilling, including offshore. No ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period. Ends. We need someone who can deal internationally. We need someone who can bring the world together again. We need someone who can move in a direction that, in fact, if you violate the commitment you make, you will pay an economic price for it, like what's happening in China. They're, they're exporting coal, significant coal. The Thank desire you. to taper off of fossil fuels is just fine, but the world and its entire economy has been operating on them for over 100 years. Simply ending fossil fuels with the flip of a switch would, of course, be disastrous. Global elitists know that this will collapse the system, and they want to do this as part of their Great Reset. And they want to rebuild the whole world into a new global, one-world order. It's easy to see that if the world continues on its current path, that we're going to see severe famine in many parts of the world, and we're going to see it very soon. And we'll also see significant shortages even here in America. With regard to food shortage, yes, we did re, re, so talk about food shortages. And, uh, and it's going to be real. The, the price of these sanctions is not just imposed upon Russia. It's imposed upon an awful lot of countries as well, including European countries and our country as well. So to be sure, any food that you're going to be able to buy will soon be significantly more. And of course, already is. There's many contributing factors into this famine that is very likely coming, and that means stopping it may be completely impossible at this very late hour. And when it comes to the gas prices, uh, we're going through an incredible transition that is taking place that God willing, when it's over, will be stronger and the world will be stronger and less reliant on fossil fuels. You can't simply shut down the world's economy like our idiotic leaders did during COVID and then just flip a switch and expect that things are going to go back to normal. But the thing of it is, it, it doesn't work that way, and world leaders knew that at the time. And of course, many people warned about it. 33% of the world's wheat comes from Russia and Ukraine. Wheat prices have skyrocketed, of course, as a result of the war, and this means that shortages are most certainly coming, and it gets worse. Russia accounts for a high percentage of the fertilizers that the world uses on their farms, and the cost of fertilizer is already up 300%. Without fertilizer, farmers really can't get by. They can plant crops, but they'll have a much worse crop, and many may not be planting at all because it just wouldn't be financially viable to do so. If things continue on this current trajectory, it could be years or decades before we could possibly return to normal. You can't just flip a switch and expect things to work again. Even Joe Biden has admitted that food shortages are coming. If someone like Biden is admitting this, then we know that there's no advantage of him doing it politically. And so you know that it's going to be bad and you know that you should be preparing. Countries like China know exactly what's coming and that's why they're already stockpiling food. We need to be doing so as well. You need to be preparing now to be able to get your family uh, by when things start to get really bad and prices go up another 20 or 30 percent or even worse. Right now, the United Nations is saying that significant food shortages are likely to begin within the next 10 weeks, and we're going to see a famine in many parts of the world and possibly significant shortages in the United States before the end of 2022. So what could we do to prepare? There are several things that I would recommend. First thing, you want to try to pay off anything that has a variable interest rate, especially credit cards. The Fed is continuing to raise interest rates this year, and it's definitely going to continue on in that manner, and interest could get really high. And that means that uh, if you have a variable interest rate, you are not going to be able to pay off your debts. Of course, gas shortages are possible. Try to make a plan for how you would uh, handle this eventuality. What would you do? 
I would recommend buying heating oil as early as you can for winter, just in case there are severe shortages in the fall, and there very well could be. Stock up on essential items. Uh, you want to get foods that are not perishable, toilet paper, batteries, maybe get a shortwave radio. The cost of everything can only get worse, and the diesel shortage will create shortages of more and more items. We already have a major fertilizer shortage, so going into the fall months, that's going to impact the cost and the availability of food. Every time you go to the store, you should buy a little extra and put that towards your emergency stockpile for when things get really bad. Start shopping local to support your local farmers. If you can, plant a, uh, plant a garden. Prepare now while you still can, because this could get really bad. It's good to invest in things like gold and silver. They are a hedge against inflation, which is, uh, you know, ongoing. Diversification of assets is always a good idea anyway. Finding investments that move the opposite way of the stock market is also a good idea. You may want to stock up on anything that you have value. Uh, do you have anything that might be good in a barter system if you had to trade for things? I know that sounds really crazy, but uh, even so, I think it's a good idea to start thinking about it. If you can't afford to pay down debt or to prepare anything, you might consider canceling things now that are not essential, um, including any kind of cable bills or a vacation you may have been planning this summer. As a matter of fact, I was planning a vacation and now I'm planning on making more uh, YouTube videos instead. Things are probably going to get really bad and it's good to be prepared. And uh, while I hate to give such a, a gloomy report, I still believe that God's in control, that he's going to take care of his people. So you don't have to worry too much, but it's always smart to prepare. Remember how uh, Joseph did during the times when he had the dreams and God told him to prepare and lay up food because there was going to be seven years of famine. He did so, and he saved the people of Egypt and the people of Israel. And so that's what I have for you today. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you in a while.